What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And for today's video, man, I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about these teasers that we just got for the upcoming 3.2.0 update, man. And I gotta say, boys, I'm hyped. I'm not as hyped as I was for the X-Men update, but I'm feeling real good about this update. There's a lot of good stuff hidden in these two pictures that we actually got, right? So just taking a look at the first Daily Bugle post, you can clearly see that it shows Spider-Man wearing his new homemade uniform, which confirms what we already knew, that he was getting a new uniform to go along with the movie, right? And I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not really a big fan of how this uniform looks, so I'm really hoping this bonus for the uniform itself is actually really cool, because so far all of his uniform bonuses are just kind of like whatever, and most importantly, I'm hoping that the skill changes that this guy gets is actually really freaking cool, okay? Those are the two things that I'm really looking for in this uniform, so I'm really hoping that they come through for me with that because this uniform right here, I much prefer how it looks. However, using this uniform, there's not really much I can do at the moment, okay? So I'm definitely going to have to think about getting my fourth uniform for this guy. So let's hope they come through for me. And I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, or at least hoping that he will be getting the new homemade suit plus the one that Tony Stark made for him. But this one right here is pretty much that, guys. This is the one that he got from the Civil War movie, so that's already in game. So the most that Netmarble would actually do for this uniform at this time is rework a couple of the skills. And I personally would be happy with that because this uniform would definitely get better. But I don't see them doing that because they more than likely want to sell you on the homemade uniform because they know that a lot of people already have this uniform because this is the best uniform for him so they already made a sale on it i don't really see them going back and reworking it to make it catch up with the new one so highly unlikely that he's gonna get two uniforms because we've never seen any character in this game get two uniforms in a single update right they usually space them out a couple months and over time they end up with multiple different uniforms but never at the same time okay so sadly i don't think we're going to be getting two uniforms for this guy and to be honest do you would you even want two uniforms for him because that's 1500 crystals that you're gonna have to spend right there just think about it like that guys and another really cool thing about this update guys is that they hinted that tony stark is actually gonna play a big role or at least even if it's not a big role a small role okay he was on the front page on the bottom part here then they said he is giving out scholarships to gifted youths and that's cool i'm really hoping that that means more than just getting a uniform i would really like it if he gets a rework and i'm also kind of curious what do you guys think who are these gifted youngsters that are talking about do you think these are actually like character hints or do you guys think that this was just their way of sneaking iron man in to the previews okay to get people a little bit hype about him okay let me know what you guys think in that regard because to be honest with you guys this guy's going on his fourth uniform just like spider-man and i'm on the fence on whether or not i'm gonna buy a new uniform for him unless he gets a really big change from that uniform or gets a rework complete also from that same picture right here guys we got our first confirmed member of the sinister six not really anything new we already seen that from the previous post on marvel news but we're getting mysterio so that's cool I would have liked it to be Craven to be one of the first ones announced, but you know what, whatever. And in the second picture right here, as you guys can see, we got full confirmation that we're getting all the members of the Sinister Six. And my boy Craven, although he's in the back, he's still here. So you know what, I gotta be happy about that, man. Can't wait. However, from this picture right here, the thing that was the most eye-catching for me was Sandman, guys. I really love how he actually looks. I can't wait to see how his shape-shifting skills animate in this freaking game, okay? I can't wait, man. Like, it's gonna be really freaking cool to use him. Let's hope he actually does some decent damage and his survivability is what it should be. Because in the Spideyverse, he's actually really freaking hard to get rid of, okay? So... Really hope he actually has some good survivability and some decent damage, okay? The next big thing on this poster right here that got me all the way hyped up, guys, was the mention 
of soul stones, right? And I read that as like infinity stones. The first time I read it, like I saw stones and I didn't even read the first word. I was like, wait, stones? Infinity stones? Like what? Thanos? Black Warrior? Uniforms? What? So I'm hyped. Um, I know a lot of people are saying that this has to do with Adam Warlock, but you know what? It don't matter. Infinity stones, infinity wars, whatever the hell this is, I can't wait to see it. Let's hope it's not any new type of materials that you need to rank up and master these characters because we already got that in the X-Men update and I'm not really looking forward to that grind already. Especially if they're gonna come with this new cap business that they're doing like 2,000 on the materials, making it so that once you get a certain amount of materials, making it so that you can't run those missions anymore. It's actually nonsense, but at the same time, it saves you some energy because there's a lot of stuff in this game that uses energy. So I can see the point of capping off certain things, but at the same time, the cap shouldn't be so low, okay? So let's hope that these soul stones are not gonna actually be things that you actually have to collect to rank up and master any kind of characters. Let's hope that this is a hint at a new character in Adam Warlock because Adam Warlock is freaking dope, okay? However, man, I gotta say, the fact that they mentioned that we are possibly getting a new type of Dimension Rift is actually really freaking awesome because I'm a guy that runs Dimension Rift like religiously and I'm kind of bored of the old Dimension Rift. Like, I'm pretty much bored of all the Dimension Rifts right now. I've run them all so much that I'm, I welcome a change. I welcome something new when I pop open a Rift or when one of my friends pop open a Rift and we're running it, I welcome seeing a boss that I've never seen before, a new stage that I haven't seen before, maybe collecting some new materials, or even if it's the same materials, maybe some new bios for some new characters in there, that would be really freaking cool, okay? And I saw Alchemax, guys, and if you guys don't know what that is, that's a company from the 2099 Spider-Man universe, so that's a completely different Spider-Man than Peter Parker. It's actually a Mexican dude by the name of Miguel O'Hara. So he's the first Latino Spider-Man. So Mexicans finally getting some love. And he's actually pretty dope. And I heard a couple people saying that he might actually be a native tier 2. And I gotta say, I don't see that happening because although Miguel O'Hara is pretty dope as Spider-Man and he has a, a lot more offensive capabilities than Peter Parker, He's weaker in my opinion because he lacks one of Spider-Man's most powerful tools and that is the Spidey Sense. In any of the comics that I've ever read with him and I'm still reading them right now, I'm a little bit behind but I've never seen him once exhibit any kind of Spidey Sense and I've seen uh, quite a few issues of the Spider-Man 2099 comic books. Okay, so. I don't think he's on par with Peter Parker, so if Peter Parker is not tier 2 native, I don't see him being tier 2 native either, but who knows man, maybe they'll pull up one of the bad guys out of the 2099 universe and throw that at us as one of the new tier 2 natives, we'll see, but since we got Wolverine and Jean as tier 2 natives in the last update, I think it's a bit soon to be dropping more tier 2 natives this quickly because a lot of people are gonna be so stressed in timeline they're still adjusting to Jean Grey and Wolverine to drop another one so soon I see that being another thing that people are gonna complain about but who knows maybe it'll work out we'll just have to wait and see right but yeah guys let me know how you've been feeling about this new update man how you feel about the new spider-man coming to the game and who do you think is going to be one of the best new characters from this update excluding spider-man because they definitely have to do right by him at this point iron man i'm kind of thinking they probably gonna do right by him but out of the sinister six let me know who you guys think are gonna be the most op man and yeah i'll see you guys in the comment section because that's where all the fun is boys and I'm